I've been doing OMAD for two years and in this video I will share with you what I felt like. So I will talk about my experience and the results I've noticed. As far as fat loss this might surprise you but I did not lose that much fat if any. I'm not saying that you will not lose fat I'm just saying that OMA did not work for me in this way. That is because my body is not that efficient at converting fat into ketones. I for example did not eat for the past 5 to 6 days and I still have not lost that much fat or at least not nearly as much as other people would. When I started with OMAD it was hard as hell especially the first week. I remember playing volleyball with my classmates at school and I was just standing there like that. And I did not even see the ball because of how tired I was. I'm not over exaggerating. I physically could not move and my brain couldn't function. I could only feel hungry or angry or super agitated. And thinking and walking and everything else was hell. But then I got over it and after one or two weeks I felt kinda normal. In one month since I started I became noticing some incredible benefits. For example, I did not get hungry during the day. That is something I previously didn't imagine was possible. Before I went on OMAD, I used to think that a person needs to eat at least every 4 hours. And I thought that if you are going to go for a run in the morning on an empty stomach, that you are gonna collapse and probably die. But OMAD taught me to have a different relationship with food. So I was not relying on it every second of my life. In the first month or two, I noticed that I am starting to have more energy when I don't eat in opposed to when I do eat. This is maybe because I also used to be on a ketogenic diet uh, and if you are on a ketogenic diet then you probably feel better when you are in a fasted state. But yeah, I started enjoying going without food for so long. And this is when OMAD became effortless. In fact, at this point, if you gave me the option to only eat once a day or eat six meals a day, I would definitely hands down go for OMAD. The energy benefit, however, was not the main one. I'm sure you can feel incredibly energetic if you eat six meals a day. However, I also realized how much time you are spending in your kitchen every day. Like if you eat six times a day and you cook everything, that can easily take you four hours. And with OMAD, you can get under an hour. I eat quite a lot and I cook all my food. So for me, it takes me two to three hours on most days. But I'm still saving so much time by eating once a day. And so will you. And you will also not have to worry about when to eat. Because you just have to eat once and then you can get it out of your to-do list for the day. So if you eat your OMAD in the morning, you can then focus on what is important to you and not have to worry about food. And the same applies if you eat OMAD in the evening or during midday or any other time really. My brain started being sharper on OMAD. Even though I at first used to get huge food coma. Because A, it took my gut to get used to digesting so much food at once and B, I was not as knowledgeable on what exactly to eat during OMAD. I for example would add a lot of salt to my food and I then later on discovered that you should not eat all your salt at once and you should space it out throughout the day. So my food is incredibly low in sodium right now and I space out the salt throughout the day. So when I am fasting, I chew on salt drugs. And salt, by the way, is not bad for you. If you go for a high quality salt, like pink Himalayan salt, and you are avoiding foods like salami and cheese. If you eat whole foods and a lot of plants, a lot of potassium, you don't have to worry about eating too much Himalayan salt. A half a year ago or so, I transitioned from a low carb slash ketogenic diet to a high carb diet for multiple reasons. One is the environment, the second reason is that it plays better into my genetics. But when I made the transition, I've noticed that OMAD is not working as well as it used to because my body stopped being as keto adapted of course. With that said, I now feel much better overall 
and even in a fasted state I have more energy. So a low carb ketogenic diet is by no means a necessity if you are going to do OMA. And some people will tell you that you have to avoid carbs if you are going to restrict your eating window because if you eat carbs you will lose a lot of muscle while that is not true at all. It is complete nonsense and my body composition improved dramatically since I went high carb. So do not make the mistake of thinking that to reap the benefits of OMAD or fasting you have to be keto adapted already. In fact you might benefit more from fasting if you eat carbs because you still will tap into at least a mild ketosis when you are eating carbs. Without fasting this is not gonna be an option. Prolonged fasting is a different story by the way. If you are high carb you are gonna have a problem with that for sure. Like I am now doing a 7 to 10 day fast and I am not feeling 100%. I now certainly have more energy when I eat than when I don't eat. Which is interesting because when I was doing keto, I would have more energy during my longer fasts. But yeah, this doesn't have much to do with OMAD. Overall, I am a huge fan of OMAD and I am probably going to stop doing it anyway. Because all things considered, too mad where you eat two meals a day seems slightly better for people who are not trying to lose fat. I have thought about it in depth. Either way, both of these are awesome, but too much just seems slightly better. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and please share this video if you found it helpful.